All right, everyone. So we have, let's see. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what's happening. Okay, so we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so I feel like there is a soulmate here. And, you know, I feel like either they're wanting to reconciliate or this is, um, you guys are definitely making an effort to, okay? But we have a problem here about control issues and it's either you or the other person. You would definitely know who this is, okay? Or if it's you or them, however, Scorpio, what it's, it's saying is that, you know, it's saying to pay attention to the red flags, okay? These signs are cautioning you. So whatever's happening right here, and I'm gonna pull some cards to see just what's going on here. Okay, it says pay attention to the red flags. We have caution here. reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life you guys are definitely soulmates and i feel like it's, it's either you or this other person um so we have yeah the seven of swords with the seven of cups okay look towards the future stop holding on to um certain you know control issues certain factors however now this person could be somewhat um well, i don't know why i'm getting somewhat controlling um or you could be dealing with someone who seems to be controlling. We have the Ten of Cups here, which just popped out. Ten of Cups is, wow, all these cards are popping out. Scorpio, Libra, there's heartache. Okay, let's get some. Hold on. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or whichever sign you would like to. Whatever, whichever planet, however, um, or sign in any house. You can go by your natal chart. This is definitely soulmates, though. Someone's coming back, but you, someone has a, someone's healing here, okay? So you guys could be getting married, or you could have been married. Divorced is what I'm hearing. Yeah, someone could have walked away. It could be, Scott, uh, we have Scorpio, Taurus here, real strong. Um, we have, wow, Aquarius. We have fixed signs here, okay? So we have Aquarius, Taurus, Taurus Leo, and, um, Scorpio, and that would be you, okay? So there's somewhat completion here. Are you feeling completed? Okay, you want success, okay? Wanting success. Wanting success, wanting victory, wanting to communicate, but it says express your love, and I feel like, like that is definitely where the ego is coming from. We have the high priestess here. Someone's very mysterious, Mis mischievous. No, someone is like, you know, they come in, they come out, you know. It's like they want to pop in and they want to pop out. We have one that hit the floor. We have the nine of swords. I'm not going to use it, okay? Um, see, look, we have the lover's card with the fool. This is definitely reconciliation. Scorpio, what's happening with Scorpio's love life? Spirit guides, guardian angels. This is the high priestess. Okay, so we have the nine of coins with the empress. What is the world? Spirit guides, guardian angels. We have Pisces energy with the ten of swords. We have the hangman and the uh, ten of swords. So there's an ending or waiting to, someone is waiting. It's either you are waiting for them to make a move. They're waiting for you to make a move. It's like they're secretly looking at you or you're secretly looking at them. Um, but you know, it, it's like someone could be acting like they're in a third party situation. However, they're not, okay? This is not completed is what I'm hearing. We have the lover's card, yeah. We have the five of cups, which is Scor Scorpio. So this is thinking about a third party situation, you know, thinking, or not even a third party situation. This is thinking about reconciliation, okay? This is about reconciliation, of course. And it has to be with the lovers, okay? There's a lover here, so, and I don't feel like it's karmic at all, okay? I just feel like whoever this person is that you're dealing with, Scorpio, um, it's almost like you guys are mirroring each other here, and you think it's over. However, uh, someone walked away right here. Yeah, someone definitely walked away. It could be, uh, we have uh, fire sign, Sagittarius here. Um, but it's also Leo and Aries, um, but it's more of Sagittarius, the Knight of Wands. Let's see, let's get some more cards. Okay. 
So we have water sign, a younger water sign, an older fire sign. We also have, yeah, two older fire signs here. Um, this could also be, you know, um, there's an offer being made. And I feel like you, you definitely will either hold out on it or you will take action with it. They want you to take action with it. This person feels like... This person could be younger than you. However, um, there is a situation where this person did walk away. And, they, you know, it's like you either walked away or they walked away. They're holding back, okay? They're not wanting to express. Um, I feel like, you know, there's some healing that needs to be done here. Um, feeling as though it's been completed, you know. This is where I feel like you guys are definitely uh, mirroring each other. It's the hangman's looking at the Knight of Wands right here. And the Knight of Wands is looking at the Queen of... Uh, the, Queen of Wands, and I feel like, you know, Scorpio, this would be you, you know, it's like, look, I have this offer, but I feel like either, you know, this Divine Masculine is definitely, could be walking away from a, a situation that no longer served him, okay, and that's why I feel like this is reconciliation for you, Scorpio, you could be dealing with the Pisces, but I feel like, you know, you're taking action with, you know, healing and having more insight, okay, uh, you're trying to get out of your head here as well um, with this energy, Especially with make the effort, okay? So we have make the effort. Um, and we have completion here. So someone really does want to communicate here. They want to communicate to you. I feel like they're watching you from afar. Um, and you don't even know it. They seem like confused over the whole situation about what happened. You know, like this is um, almost like the ego is speaking here. And Spirit wants you to know that, you know, <clears throat> Scorpio... This is going to be over with really soon. Not over with. Not the connection. I'm saying this cycle. As there's a completion here within a cycle. And I feel like you guys will reunite here. However, I want to get one uh, accord here for the High Priestess. Because the High Priestess is coming through as the Divine Feminine right here. But um, the Divine Feminine to me is like the uh, Empress right here. She's the Queen of all Queens. She's very passionate, very giving, very caring, very nurturing. She gives birth, okay? She is, you know, with the High Priestess right here, this could, for some of you, you could be having signs of pregnancy, okay? Or, you know, um, this could be something's happening behind the scenes, okay? Um, you, could, you could be wanting to get a new job or wanting to start a new job or you know, um, wanting to start something more creative, okay? It, this doesn't even necessarily have to do with the connection is what I'm getting at, okay? Yeah, we have the Sun card, we have uh, the Queen of Coins, and we have the Four of Cups. So, it's like, you, it's like you're almost wanting to take care of yourself right now, Scorpio. You're not worried about this connection. However, this connection is coming back to you. It's not over with, okay? And... You know, um, we have the sun card here, and this is just saying, you know, this is really bringing out you, okay? And this is you t doing self-care as the hangman right here. You know, you're getting a new perspective. You're releasing things. You're releasing, you're releasing um, this connection, okay, with the lover's card. Could be a Gemini, however, and you're starting to do a lot of self-care, a lot of self-work for yourself. Um, and that's why you're definitely holding back right here, Okay. You're holding back, but you still have love here for this person. Um, vice versa, this person has a lot of love for you. They're coming back to you, okay? Um, let's just get some cards here from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Spirit guides, guardian angels, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so happy, happy, okay? You have the key to your heart. They are moving at a high, <laughs> at a high pace. Okay, they're like, I have done the healing, I have done the work, I'm ready to start something new. Okay, you are my lover, is what I'm hearing. Um, you are my secret admirer as well. Okay, they have done the work. Have you done the work? Okay, this is, you know, keeping up with their daily chores, their daily activities, their daily needs. Okay. Um, this is about doing self-care as well. Scorpio, this could be relating to you feeling happy, happy within your home life, okay? But not only within your home life, within your work. And you're definitely finding that peace. And I love this because um, I, these cards just keep on popping out. It says, have the faith, okay? You can change the things around you and what you do 
and your future, however, by what you do now and the choices that you make now. And that's why the faith is here, because there's hope, okay, within this relationship. And I do feel like you guys are definitely moving forward here. Um, so you feel very happy that, you know, you guys are healing, that you're healing. You are both doing um, the work, okay? I feel like you guys are both doing the work. Um, there is peace, and the peace within the connection, it brings in faith and, and uh, a lot of harmonious um, feelings for the both of you, okay? But with that being said, um, and for some of you, this could be like, you know, just talking and getting things out, okay? And really stating what needs to be said. This is not holding back words, okay? This is really healing. I feel like this connection is really healing with you oh gosh okay so these cards this is not for you we have abundance happiness here we have this yin yang energy we have serendipity and then we have go to the sea okay so this to me is like and for you if you're a divine feminine watching this this is telling you to uh be grateful for the things that you have also this soulmate is coming back to you in your life and and stay up uh, to pour with your daily activities, you know, that's where mostly you find the peace and you find that strength to move you forward, okay, it's saying this, that, you know, whatever it is, this is not a game, you know, this is, it's not for you, this game of chess, uh, this fortune cookie, it's already been written for you in um, a soul contract, however, um, this is definitely abundance and happiness, you see the signs, it says pay attention to the red signs, okay, this is, you could be going on some sort of, um, I'm seeing some sort of, this is like self-care, okay, total self-care, this is healing one's wounds, one's emotions, this is calming oneself, okay, and I feel like that's what's going on with you in this connection, um, I want to look on the bottom of the deck right here, it says let go of control issues, and we were just talking about that, so, you know, as you let go of control issues, it's not about a game, it's not about, you know, competition right here, this is about you doing your work, and they are doing their work, okay, um, this is where the peace comes in, then there is a lot of signs like serendipity, okay, and serendipity is definitely a sense of, uh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry that serendipity is like a four-leaf clover, okay, um, seeing the signs within your everyday life, within your everyday work, okay, so, And I feel like this person has done a lot of healing as well, okay, within their emotions, within their mindset, within their emotions, okay, and um, they're coming back, they're coming back slowly, it's like they went out and now they're coming back, and you see these signs everywhere, Spirit, Spirit is just saying don't lose the faith, you know, um, it's, the, it's not for you to give up is what it's saying. Um, keep your hopes up high, and look, there is somebody coming back here, and that's why you definitely have that energy of just um, pure abundance, okay, especially with Treasure Island, there's hearts, there is magical stars, that's faith, you know, this is your treasure, um, this is what you've been working for, Scorpio, okay, so let's get some cards here. Okay, so we have the lovers. For some of you, this is, like I said, for some of you, you could be having a child or you have a child with this person. However, this person is really thinking about you, um, thinking about the good times that you guys had in the past, okay? Thinking about, you know, making a decision to move closer to you, okay? Yes, we have a divine masculine right here who's definitely looking towards his past and making a decision to move forward, okay? They feel like... You know, they want to make it right this time, okay? Now, there's a mature woman that has an occupation, okay? And they know this. They know this. This man could not or could have been um, got out of a job recently, okay? Uh, you could also be just starting up a job, I'm seeing um, Scorpio. So, it's like whenever you guys are together, you guys bring in so much um, love, so much care, um, for, you know, the connection and for, uh, wow, it's like for each other, period, you know, there is peace within the connection as well, but for some reason, you guys had to move away from it for this time being, okay, so we have some expectations, okay, so for some of you, you could be expecting, okay, a child, and now you're starting to have to work, 
this divine masculine is like, oh my gosh, what I'm going to do. Now, this message could be for some. It, it might not be for everyone. Of course it's not, okay? So, but this divine masculine, wow, he could be stuck in prison, okay? He could be trapped in a relationship, wanting to get out, you know, knowing that you have, they have a child, you have a child with them. You're expecting this person back, okay? But for some reason, they're caught up right here. Um, they're stuck. They're in imprisonment. They're trapped. We have the six, and this is the king of clubs, okay? This is the king of uh, wands, but it's also, um, you know, seeing beyond the fog, okay? Seeing light, seeing, okay, this is cutting through all the delusions, illusions that are blocking, and a new life. I'm, see, I'm hearing a new life. There's messages coming through, possibly an invitation coming to you to a party, Okay, you could be going to a party. This person could be messaging you, wanting to meet up with you as well. I feel like this person is getting away. He's moving, okay? Um, let's just get one more here. They want you to know that, you know, they dream about you. They think about you in the morning times as well. And they think about moving with you, okay, Scorpio? Very, very useful energy right here, okay? So that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much.